Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another vlog review. This time of the Leftovers episode, BJ and the AC. One of the more what the fuck moments of this episode was when Tom and Christine have escaped the hospital and are on the bus, and the bus has to stop because there's bodies all over the floor from this truck. Luckily, they don't turn out to be real bodies. They turn out to be replications of people that were taken. And this co must have cost a lot, according to dialogues and the episode. Because, you know, people lose people that randomly disappear and so they make re replications of these people to bury to have a funeral for to act normal with and this isn't the first time the episode that replication has been brought up this is really the running theme throughout the episode of whether it you know, a replication of something is better than the original, or if the original is better. And it all starts with baby Jesus being stolen. And then the chief, aka Kevin Garvey, you know, has a discussion with his daughter. His daughter's like, you can't just, you know, get another one, that wouldn't be the same thing. And this conversation makes it, re made it really clear, at least to me, that this conversation wasn't just about the baby Jesus being stolen and replaced. There was something more to it. I can't really describe it without, you know, looking up <laughs> the dialogue from the scene and reading it out loud. But yeah. And so I knew that there was something going on there, but I didn't know what. And I had to look on IMDb, and it turns out that, you know, someone, some other people smarter than me, I know, hard to imagine, <laughs> pointed it out. I was like, aha. Remember the question. Is the replication better than the original? Well, in the case of Baby Jesus, at least to me, it was like, just replace it with another similar one. No one will know the difference. Except, you know, you. But that doesn't really matter in the long run, because it's just like trying to put a scene together. And, you know, at the end of the episode, it doesn't really matter because, you know, the Christopher Eccleston's character says, yeah, hey, I had another one and I'm putting that in the manger instead. And, <laughs> and you know, guess what? Kevin, like, is about to put the baby, you know, the original baby Jesus in the manger and he runs into Christopher Eccleston's character and then after that scene where they meet, they, he goes away in the truck and he looks at the baby Jesus and just throws it out of the truck <laughs> because it's like what's what's really the point you know so sometimes it doesn't matter and then Tom isn't Kevin's biological son and you know so Kevin is the stepfather and so the original father just abandoned Tom well, Kevin, the rep, which we could consider the replication of the father, you know, really cares for Tom. I don't believe they really ever shared a scene together. I can't, I maybe have to go back and rewatch the pilot. But they haven't really shared a scene together, but at least once or twice every episode, Kevin calls to try to check in on Tom. So you can tell that he really cares for who he considers his son. So in that case, the replication is better. 
so yeah it really so is the replication or the original better really depends on the situation and you know leave your comments below and tell me what you think you know what do you think about the question and what you thought about the replication parts of the episode and the guilty remnants have always just been this what the fuck are you and this episode they they just went over and they removed the pictures of the loved ones that were taken and that is just some really fucking cruel shit it's like the guilty remnants are pushing their beliefs down other people's throat and that's just really horrible just every day and in this case it's even worse so it's just like this is I don't know if the guilty remnants have an agenda or not but they're dicks they they really fucking are dicks I just wanted to yell at them for and, yeah. and finally today Lori it seems to be growing away from the guilty remnants at least this episode showed of uh, like how she's subtly breaking away earlier in the episode where she says hey want to get divorced <laughs> with Liv Tyler's character you know go on, doing the actual speaking and so you know the during this whole scene her daughter gives her a gift she takes the gift, you know, she opens it up as her and Love Tyler's character are walking and, you know, just throws away like, hey, this is what the guilty remnants are about. Fuck that shit. And later on in the episode, she says, yeah, after, you know, they, you know, destroyed the pictures, she says, yeah, I just want to walk home alone. And then she goes back and tries to get the gift. And it's like that's it's a little subtle sign of rebellion. So I'm sort of wondering if Lori is going to <laughs> come go away from the guilty remnants, come back to reality. So yeah. So my final thoughts of the leftover episode BJ and the AC. It was it was decent. There were some crazy parts like the guy that wasn't wearing any pants to get to see this you know, dick and balls jiggle a little bit. <laughs> My fiance watched the episode last night and he was like, There's this guy and he's like naked in the balls <laughs> And I have been Jashikin's owner at Jashikins dot com as if you go to the blog, you can you know, see this vlog and others like it and also a bunch of other cool stuff I've done. And if you go on the sidebar, you can see where else I am on the web and you know, say hi. And if you go to the link in the description, that's for a donate your account. If you sign up for the campaign, it'll allow me to use your Twitter and or Facebook accounts to post my blog stuff through either once a day, once a week, or once a month, depending on the option you choose. This was very useful in case you know you're watching me and you're like, the Jashikin really deserves a bigger audience. This is a way you can help out. And until next video, goodbye.